chat complaining thingy. So, so far in this pregnancy, I haven't really noticed any sort of like hormonal mood things. I mean, I think I said something a little bit before about just getting real sentimental about some stuff, but mostly not really at all. And, um, sorry, my contacts are really dry today. Of course, my air conditioner is making them worse, but it's way too hot not to have the AC on, so. Ugh. This is me being so hormonal. No, this is just me with dry contacts. <laughs> For the most part, I would say the hormone mood thing, I haven't really noticed much of anything. Okay, this is too much. Too much air on the eyeballs. Um, until just kind of like the last couple days, I would say. But, disclaimer, I don't actually really know if this is pregnancy related or not. Because I'm definitely a person that goes through like phases of moods of like we'll be down for a week or so and then up for a while and normally I'm kind of at just like a normal content level but man the last couple of days have not they have not been content or really that happy and it's kind of it's just this thing where no matter where you are in life no matter what you have how you know, lucky or how blessed or how far you've come. Sometimes, just sometimes, and nothing feels like enough. And that's kind of where I've been. And I feel, honestly, feel really bad for complaining about things that I have that I know, like, I know in my brain that it's a good thing. Like, I know I have a good job. It pays well, you know, just it pays what other jobs like in the area would pay. I have really awesome benefits um, and a flexible schedule, like all these things that are good. But I don't like my job. I just, I get bored. It's not where I see myself making a career for, you know, whatever, two, five years, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna, it's really good. It's afforded us to buy a house and to, for us to, you know, feel comfortable starting a family. Um, but I just don't like it. <laughs> and that, I don't know, it's just been getting to me lately on top of everything else. Like, I could go down the list of, like, things that are, you know, stressing me out or making me feel uh, less, less than happy, less than content, but they're not, they're things that are always there. They're things that I usually can cope with, but for some reason, just the last couple of days, it's like, why does Chris have to work nights? Why don't I ever get to see him in the evenings? Even though he works three to four days most weeks. So I do get to see him half of the evenings. And I don't know. See, this is me. This is me like being all sad and complainy. But logically knowing that it's not that bad. Because most of the time I may, like, I don't feel like it's bad. But, Okay. Uh, my point, yeah, no, I'm just over here complaining. This is exactly what I thought was going to happen when I started talking about this stuff. Um, my point is this. That sometimes I think you just have to let yourself feel sad. Like, don't keep fighting with yourself. Don't, you know, feel sad and then feel guilty for feeling sad about stuff that you know isn't that bad. Because in the moment, it does kind of feel bad. Like, last night, I just got really lonely. You know, Chris was working last night, and so I got to see him for all of, like, the 30 minutes between when I get home and he leaves, and I don't know. I, well, some other crap happened, and I was already kind of feeling, like, in a mood, like, a few days leading up to this, but I went on a walk and some stupid, stupid little, probably, like, what, 14 or 15 year old kids on a moped, like, swerved right at me and spit on me for, like, literally no reason other than the fact that they're teenagers and they suck. Oh, this is, I'm getting off topic again and just complaining. I have, I'm having a hard time just letting myself, like, be sad, but last night I did. I, like, I cried. I laid in my bed and I just cried about everything. Oh, and I, and there's been times in my life where I have felt bad more than I felt good. And that's when you know you kind of need to make a change. But just 
when you gotta feel bad, let yourself feel bad. That's what life is. Life's never just like good and perfect and happy. No matter where you get, no matter how much money you have or what kind of like, you know, shape you're in fitness wise or your how your love life is going, there's always just like some downs and also when I'm feeling down, I'll let myself do something a little special, like get Panera for lunch instead of packing my lunch. So that's going to be good. And honestly, like after I let myself have a good cry and just be sad and just be like, oh gosh, the sad part's not even the part that I'm so much, um, feel guilty and feel bad apart, bad about. It's more that I was kind of getting irritated with Chris. God, this is so stupid. But, uh, you know, it's real. <laughs> really how I felt. I was getting irritated with Chris because I was texting him kind of, like, upset. Like, you know, kind of wanting a little more, um, consoling. And I, it must have just not been coming across in text because he was not being very, like, I don't know, like, very attentive in the texting, so. After letting myself just be sad and be a little annoyed and angry and feel lonely and just be all boo-hoo about everything, you know, in the comfort of my bedroom, then... Today, I honestly feel, like, so much better. I mean, I'm not, like, yay, I get to go to work today, which I, I pretty much am never like that, so. Where are you going? Running into me? That's a good place to go. But it, it just, I just felt better. Like, I just felt a little more able to do life. You know? So I guess it's going to be the end of my little complainy rant. Um, live your life. Happy or sad. You got this. It all always gets better. It does. Alright. Thanks for watching me boo-hoo on the camera.